Okay, so, hello again. Um, have you ever noticed when you're on the highway, for example, you, your car is warm, and then uh, when you go to the highway, the, um, the temperature lowers to the cool uh, again? Well, this may be a sign that your, um, your car is, uh, well, the thermostat is going bad. So uh, the water is going always to the radiator because the function of the thermostat is to stop the water from going to the radiator when the car is warm and only uh, using the radiator to flush the heat out uh, when the heat approaches a certain limit that's the role of the thermostat when the thermostat is broken uh, one of two things may happen the water never goes to the radiator which is very bad for you because the the, the engine will heat up uh, or the thermostat can break and up in a position where uh, the water goes always to the radiator. So that's why uh, your car becomes cool again after a while, after going to the highway. So um, what I'm doing today is to replace my thermostat for this 1998 uh, Toyota Corolla. And uh, as you can see, I'm draining the the radiator fluid, which is the, the first step in this, uh, this replacement. Um, there is a, a drain plug on the bottom of the radiator somewhere this way to the, to the ground. You just have to unscrew that and uh, have a, a bottle to take, take the radiator fluid uh, in, so that you can refill it again with the same radiator fluid, uh, if the fluid is clean, of course. So. Um, then we will be removing a pipe, which is the this one. The the light is very bad. Let me put uh, here some some more light. Well, uh, so there are two pipes. This one here, and then there is another one there. So the, we're not is interested in the top one that goes to the engine. We're interested in the other one which um, will have to be will will have to remove the pipe uh, close to the engine in order to remove the thermostat which is inside the pipe uh, i'll be replacing one i'll be replacing the thermostat with a brand new one that i bought in, at toyota and i recommend that you do not buy uh, excuse me uh, i do not uh, recommend that you buy uh, an aftermarket one because these things are sensitive and uh, do not spare on this because you will uh, you will have bad luck believe me um, this is the new thermostat as you can see and uh, I have also bought a new gasket which I recommend that you do also because the gasket in there may be very old and we do not have we do not want any any leaks so uh, just I'm just waiting for the the radiator fluid to to drain, um, and that's it. Okay, let's see if we can see anything. Ooh. Okay, there is the um, well, the, the quality is very bad, but um, we have to remove a pipe in there. Do you see that bolt? That bolt there. There is one on the top and one on the bottom. You have to remove the steel inlet that connects to the engine, not the pipe itself. The the most that will be inside that housing, uh, under in, under the um, the pipe inlet. Okay, so here are the bolts, uh, the nuts. I, uh, I mean, and uh, well, after removing the two bolts. You will have the the pipe will be loose. You can see it moving there. So now we can access the thermostat. So here is the the old uh, thermostat that I pulled up, pushed from the from the pipe, and uh, let's put in the new one. Get your uh, 
new gasket, which is the thing here, and it must go around this metal plate, uh, like in the old uh, thermostat. The old thermostat showed the gasket. There were not gasket here. Um, <coughs> do the same with the new one. 